about two minutes. One minute. Okay. <laughs> you have your life. So how do I get into your life in the wild video? Let's see. Let's see. So you should be able to just refresh the page there. There, there it is. <laughs> just, oh, could we move down a little bit? Oh, <laughs> uh, we move this way? That's good. Okay, come on down. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, perfect. Okay. okay so, so, hello everyone watching at home. Thank you so much for watching. Is it too hot? Should we lower it? Or is it good? Uh, we could perhaps lower it a little bit. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, let me do that. Yeah. I want to make sure it's perfect. So, so hi Dorothy. Hi there. Hi sweetie. There we go. Dorothy. So this is what we're doing. Hi Jonas. Hi Jonas. So this is what we're doing. Hi Trisha. So what we're doing is, is this. I have Stephen from Red Lessons. He is a, uh, actually I'll let you say who you are. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, so for those of you who are watching this on both platforms, both Facebook and YouTube, uh, my name is Stephen and I have a humble little channel called Red Lessons. And today I had the pleasure of meeting up with George Zaharoff, who has his own brand of perfume and I'm very delighted to be an owner of it. I'm actually wearing it today. It's my scent of the day. And we also have the pleasure of having perfumer Claude uh, here from Mon. So thank you very much for uh, you know this opportunity for being well, willing to do this. Like yes, yes. <laughs> so um, from the YouTube side, can you hear us clearly? Can you see us clearly? And um, we're looking at what you're saying. Can you see us? Okay, no problems, no issues. A lot of people tuning in, so that's wonderful. A lot of people are. Um, <laughs> hi, Chris. Awesome. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, Claude, tell us a little bit about you. Okay, so my name is Claude Deer. I started, um, I was born in Paris and at a very uh, young age, I think I was 10 years old, we moved from Paris to Grasse. Uh, I did study uh, in Nice and I became, um, I was a case. And we, um, my first job I got and uh, Maurice Mann uh, sent me to the, to the US, actually we were in New Jersey uh, at this time, to, uh, to work and develop programs for the, uh, for the uh, American market. Mm -hmm. So I have 45 years of uh, experience. I started, like I said, I started with Mann, then I went to Quest, uh, and after a few years we did very well, and Giordan bought Quest. And now I'm back to uh, to Man, <laughs> to Man. Uh, full circle. I'm very happy to to be back to the company where I started. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> you know, I I, I work from uh, from the south of France and from Arizona, where I live in uh, in winter. I'm in New York uh, once a week, once a month. I mean, mm -hmm. and um, very easy for me. And you know, uh, I really like what I'm doing now because, you know, no meetings and I work from my house. I select a few clients like George and work on the, you know, put all my heart on the progress and, and, you know, I send a formula to, uh, with my computer to the lab. The lab will make the sample, FedEx, the next day I have my sample, I smell, I make modification. You know, the perfumer will probably tell you we spend so much time when you are in a company in meetings and and uh, this was after 40 almost 45 years was like okay enough I want to just enjoy myself and <laughs> create for people I like and uh, it's working well you know it's working well so but Claude is one so I've known Claude for 20 years and I see wow. so what's going on is is that you're on my Facebook those that are watching on Facebook we're also going live on YouTube and so uh, Red Lessons is the channel there's a little bit of a lag I think um, you, you want to hook up to the Wi-Fi you think or do we just leave it and let it lag I think we could probably leave it okay so we're um, just leave it then okay. yeah so Claude is a master perfumer correct yes sir <laughs> okay and so we are getting your fans from all over the world on here from and, uh, also hello everybody and hello on this side someone just said would you make a perfume oh yeah i says claude mm -hmm. and we're going to limit this to like 30 seconds because we're getting a lot of um 
a lot of uh, questions. So what is the what is the most difficult thing when you're creating a fragrance? Well, I think at the beginning when you get the brief, it's very important that you listen to your client what they want. No. And the brief is what they say, what they, what the, the, like someone like me will say, this is what I'm looking for, and that's a brief. Exactly. Yeah. So, like for you, you know, you ask, we work together for a long, long time, you know. So, uh, yeah, so it's really to, to have a good idea of what direction I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take. Once I know the direction, when I know from you uh, some idea like creating uh, the Zaharoff, was based on all your traveling. I've been traveling all over, all over the world and I'd like to have patchouli. You know, I went to Singapore, I want the patchouli from Singapore. I want the wood from where did you go? Uh, the wood is from uh, uh, Indonesia. Indonesia or so. So once I know that or when I work with designers like you and they talk to me about the um, the couture, the, you know, what do they use? Do they use silk? Do they use cotton? Do they use what kind of fabric? What kind of, kind of color? This really helped me. Or, you know, you say, God, you know, I have this memory, but, you know, something like my grandma used to cook, my grandma from Greece. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? And was, I want this feeling when I was right, so, so I will try to put a little touch of something personal, was personal to you, you cannot create the fragrance, but I can create the fragrance and and almost design the fragrance based on on your um, on child uh, childhood memory and yeah. something else. So, but once I know that, after it's just a matter of working hard and it, you know making a lot of samples and so the and tries and putting on skin and asking people what do they think and. Mm -hmm. When you start having people telling you what 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 are you wearing, you know, then you know you have something something good. You know? Do you find that I'm sorry? Do you find that a lot of the people that do approach you and they provide you with briefs, do they typically ask for something personal, or do you think that they ask for something very mass marketed, something that will appeal to a lot of people? Well, I did fragrance for a lot of you know for a bit different celebrity, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes, sometime, yeah, sometimes they would like to say, like Britney Spears, you know, I did a lot of Britney Spears, Beyonce and Mariah Carey or whatever, but yeah. sometimes, yes, they want something that was really personal for them, something they like, but I, I will tell them that this is for you. It's, if it's for you, I do financials for you. If you want to sell, I don't think it's the right direction, you know? So sometimes you have to convince them that Okay, we will have no idea of, you know, if you want this cotton candy or, right. or if you want, like, oh, I want the Coca Cola, something, uh, ketchup, or whatever. <laughs> no, we cannot do that, you know. Yeah. So you have also to massage them and and um, just make sure that once it's on the shelf that people will like and buy. If they, if it's too niche but to something crazy because they have crazy right. idea and sometimes they have crazy idea you will not sell so that's something we have to sometimes to spend time working with Be them careful and make sure that exactly. convincing them that no you should not do that we we do a little bit but it, it's not commercial enough mm -hmm. <laughs> so how long did it take to produce something like Zahara so, uh, this one we work what a year and a half wow Maybe, maybe right. Because I had to hunt you down too. I couldn't find you. Yeah, you could not find me. <laughs> and um, and so I found him, and then we had to go through everything because the oh, the form of I had something in my head, and the fragrance, the form of fragrance was long gone that yeah, we had I'm lost. So we had to start that. new with newer ingredients, and then did a modern twist to it. I I think that, that let me check it. I think that if you could do Wi-Fi. Hold on, guys. Let's let's switch to the Wi-Fi. See, the, I see the lag there, but not here. So this is still streaming perfectly. Okay, it's uh, people are complaining. They're not complaining. About the switching. Uh, actually, the all right. So hi Olga, hi Brooke. Uh, it's all freezing <laughs> up. Everyone's saying it's freezing up. Oh I'm no. Heavy anxiety. <laughs> So, um, someone wanted to ask you, what are your top, first of all, there's a gentleman, are we, we're still doing this right now, it's frozen, but they asked, 
Uh, this gentleman is from Miami. He absolutely loves the, the men's fragrance. So I need to do a shout out for him, Mr. Miami Cuddles. Hi there, he's a school teacher as well. He's a, he was in the military as well. So he keeps saying that he loves the fragrance. So oh, thank you. yeah, he says it's lining a lot, Steven. Okay, let me see. Hi, so hi, Pamela. Hi, Trisha. It's not freezing up on Facebook. It's all good here. Okay, so let's go to Facebook while Stephen is working on there. Are there any questions that you guys want to want to know about fragrance? I've got Master Perfumer. Um, someone asked on here, what's the, well, we'll wait for that. What's the difference between Master Perfumer and a regular perfumer? But we'll wait until we're able to get a good, uh, a good feed. Um, so Facebook is smooth. Okay, so Facebook people, what is it that, uh, you have any questions for Claude from Master Perfumer, Claude Deere? Uh, we're in a headquarters here in, in, uh, in New York, in Manhattan. Any questions? I had seen a couple of them. There's 12 people watching this. Hello, come on. So, Lisa, you've got people from all over the world. Call, sing, oh, what is your signature note? What is a club dinner note? Would what? you say? Well, in my fragrances? Yes. What well, is your signature now? You know, I like to walk with um, wood, woody knot, like wood, like this is very woody and spicy and not very, very fresh. But I like to, you know, for me, I like to um, to look at also the market. You know, I do a lot of fragrance, floral in, in glass. Um, but I, I, actually, for me, it's a it's a challenge to walk on different, you know, I cannot just walk on one direction because yeah. people ask me green notes, fruity notes, especially today we do a lot of romance fragrance. You know, romance means something you put in your mouth, it could be fruity, could be caramel, could be cotton candy, could be anything you, you eat, you know. Yeah. And um, so for me it's good. It's good not to stay always with the same in the same family because if I I said I love to work with wood, uh, wood enough for men or women, but if I stay with that, I will forget it's good to jump on something else yeah. and, and smell something else and have a new idea of green or fruity or different floral note or mixing the floral with spice and rumo. So it's like, like people said sometimes, they, they will say, okay, what fragrance do you prefer from the one I did? But it's like, you know, your ch child, you know, you, which one do you prefer? It's hard to pick, right? Yeah. That, 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 for you me. can tell we're asking a master perfumer <laughs> what his favorite note is. And he says, he's all the whole spectrum. I love it. That's how much he loves it. You, can you say hello to this, this gentleman in Colombia? Because he just need, wants you to say hello to him. Uh, um, uh, Stephen, say hello. Shout out to Colombia. Of course, yeah. Yeah, hello everybody watching on both platforms. So, hello, I uh, just, uh, just did two fragrances for uh, Paulina Vega. Uh, she's, she was Miss Colombia. So I just did one is on the market, the other one will be launched shortly. So it's okay to tell people. Let me yeah, ask yeah. you another question because we're getting so many questions. We're going to have to just pound these out because I, I'm, when I'm on the other side, I want my answer. Why is carnation so difficult to find? To find as a as a oil or as uh, yeah, we don't we don't uh, we don't distill carnation. We never did. I never in 45 years. I never smell an extract of carnation. Mm -hmm. There is no field of this, carnation like rose lavender. Or, so carnation isn't like a rose or lavender where it's um, where people are, are using the oil. So but, the next question. But is, we are using carnation. It's mostly a reconstitution. Are we kind of carnation? The, we have no field of carnation, we don't distill carnation. Okay. So it's a reconstitution just like lily of the valley. We don't harvest lily of the valley. Oh really? No. So we did a reconstitution, imitate you know, try to imitate the flower. And so there are a lot of fantasy notes. Yeah. How about um gardenia? Is gardenia? Yeah, gardenia, fantasy gardenia, gardenia, yeah, gardenia to grow gardenia is big, you know, yeah. because it's good. It's very powerful, it's a beautiful floral, almost like a perfume, you know. Mm, that's the uh, so gardenia tuberose, um, jasmine, those are very powerful. Stephanie, what is uh, plumera? What is but, plumera? But carnation, carnation, it's I'm very difficult Stephanie, to, I see all of you. I'm, I'm trying to be kind and courteous by not interfering. 
Can you extract the sands of the honeyapple flower? Now, extracting sands, it's not it's not like you're extracting the actual fragrance, you're extracting the oil, and you can really extract the oil of anything that's organic, correct? You grass, flowers, anything that has bark, correct? Yeah, bark, fruit, seed, flower, um, anything with anything with smell, you know, citrus. So and it's always the same process. It's a steam distillation. It's uh, you you put the plant in a, in a steel, and you it's you, you it's an, the oil. And so you break the cell of the plant yeah. by the steam heat, and uh, once you break the cell of the plant, the steam will extract the uh, the essential oil. Goes in, you know, right. up. Up and you capture that. Yeah, and then that. you. You, you cool off the system, then you have water back, you know, the steam nice water, and on top you have essential oil floating on top. That's a, every essential oil are based on steam distillation. After all, there are many other uh, methods of extracting uh, essential oil from natural solvent or resin or something a little heavier. Mm -hmm. So we don't do sometimes steam distillation because you could really Harm um, like jasmine, you don't have jasmine essential oil. It's, it's an absolute because we cannot, if we do it, we destroy the, the, the aroma. All right, so, so Marie, we're in New York, Manhattan. We're at Mont's headquarters, and we're going to now take a question from uh, the youth. Okay. Um, what do you think of the element iris on a fragrance? Iris is a very popular oil, correct? Iris? Iris, is yeah, it? Iris, yeah, it's. Um, it's, it's a good woody note. It's uh, the, the uh, absolute or the essence of Iris, probably one of the most expensive. So uh, Iris is one of the most expensive. Yeah, because areas. you have to plant. You have to wait five years. So five years for Iris. Then you take the, the roots, and you're gonna you're gonna let dry the roots for another three, four, five years. So it's like ten years before you distill. So it's good. You can see today. You see, you see more and more. Uh, you know, we are doing a lot of wood, woody fragrance for women and men, so you can see the um, uh, some more and more oris because the oris has a creamy, a creamy note. It's woody, but it's creamy, and it works very well uh, with with wood. You know, so but it's beautiful product. Uh, it's uh, we we get the oris from Italy, from Florence, and we distill in Barcelona at Tudas at Man. And, uh, I use that, you know, it's, we like, really, we have 30, 35 essential oil in your fragrance. Yes, we have a lot of oils. 35 out of um, 80 ingredients, we don't have oils, you know, but we have so right. many. <laughs> we have a lot of oil. Yeah. So someone just asked, can, can Red Lessons make a perfume with you? So you never know what the future holds, right? With anything. You never know. It would be a drink for the You never know. So let's see here. What inspired you to become a master perfumer? You've been doing this for a very long time. Yeah, for 45 years. How did years. you fall into this? Hmm? How did you stumble into becoming a perfumer? Did you? Did you? Well, I, you know, I, I, I started as a chemist at Man. I got a job. Was here at Man. No, Man, Man in in Grass. In Grass, but the company yeah. was Man. So the company name is Man, M A N E. It's one of the top fragrance flavor houses in the world. Yeah, it's a private. Since seventeen hundreds. Privately owned company. Yeah, I think Family it's owned. Sixth generation. Yes. Incredible. So as a chemist, I started in in Barcelo and. I did the school that was in before, School of Perfumery and Flavors, and I became a perfumer. So someone is asking, a couple of people say, what's your opinion on clone houses? Hi, Walter. Thank you so much. We're just, we're going back and forth and taking questions, so thanks for your patience. What is your, what is your opinion on clone houses, people that copy fragrances, like, if you like, jo if you like uh, yeah, yeah. Giorgio, you love Sunshine or yeah, something. Yeah, this for me is very bad. It's bad. Clone yeah. fragrances are usually cheap. Yeah, it's bad because, you know, I, I, I remember years ago, it was like, you're right, you remember? Or if you like uh, Giorgio, you buy uh, Georgette, you know, or something like that. But no, mm -hmm. for us, perfumer, it's not good. It's not good. We don't like it because it's a copy. 
know, you copy something that we work on for a long time where our clients spend a lot of money on the packaging, on the perfume, it's impossible to do a good rendition because they lose something cheap. Well, it's cheap, it's also it's synthetic, cheap. it's like glue. It's and a lot of times there are captive ingredients. And the captive, so, like us, we have a lot of captive that we just first perfume, yeah. like, you know, for the company to do the same thing, you know? But no, this is, you know, doing a copy of a Louis Vuitton or perfume or any, you know, any beautiful uh, product like your bag, you know, it's like, no, no, we no. don't like that. We are against that, trust me, and we don't do it. No, we don't. We, we don't like the copy. We like no. to be authentic. And so, Antonia, hello. Antonia says hello from my office, from uh, uh, yes. our, our <laughs> side. She says hello. So what's hello. The key copyright fragrances. People ask about copyrighted fragrances. The fragrance yeah. belongs to the house, and they keep it for the f different fashion houses, but you really can't patent a fragrance because there's 35 ingredients, and all you have to do is just add a little bit less of one thing, and it's not the same fragrance. Right. Well, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's, you, you, can, you can trademark the, the cap, the bottle, but you cannot trademark the perfume because people are not expert. You know, if you have a judge and, and you have a copycat and say, and, okay, this is, this is my product and this is a copy from somebody else, they don't know, right. they don't know. So we could use, you know, GC, different um, uh, technique to look, but... It's impossible it's, it's, to it's, do it's, it. It's, uh, yeah, no, but it's okay because when you create something like this, even people, you were the first with this knot, and they know it's John Sparrow. Now, are fragrances registered as a trade secret? The Chanel number no. five, do they, can people register it? No, not really, right? No, 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 no. Because no. it could be broken you down. You cannot. It's difficult to trademark just the sand because people, if, if you trademark this, people see, and if it's a sand, they say, yes, yes, there is a problem, you right. copy. How do they know about the scent? Nobody right. knows except you, if you are a perfumer, you know? But it's, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, uh, I think they are the less people who are doing copies. May I get a shout out, please? It's awesome when you all say us fans' name. Hi, Dark Side. Stuff in the fragrance. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I I'll see everything. People. I'm watching everything. I see everything. Hi, Fragrance Journey. Thank you for the love. I love you guys. I'm watching everything. So, um, when, why do fragrances with Embroxin doesn't last on some skin? I don't know if it's the Embroxin, but it's, it, it's someone who's taking a certain medicine, the way their heart pumps the blood through their body, all of that will, it will show whether or not you could keep a fragrance on, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's, it's based on body chemistry, and sometimes people, you know, I smell on some of my fragrance on people, and I smell, and it's very strong, and they say, does not last because it's so strong that after an hour or two, you become they cannot, exactly, not. They cannot smell anymore. And I will say, but it's so strong, you know. So, so uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, you should check and see if whether or not you just don't become nose blind because of a strong fragrance. Just saying. So, hi, EJ. Ernest is a great fragrance lover. All right. So, there's what is the best fragrance that you really loved working on? And listen, he made my fragrance, he made some far off. It's all far off. <laughs> and so, but what is one thing that you really, when you look at your career, because you've done a lot of fragrances, uh, is there one in particular that you enjoyed making? Well, you know, it's, it's always a lot of work. Sometimes, you know, it's, you have a good idea and you're very excited. If you lose, you're not too happy. Of course. But, um, it's it's uh, you know I'm always very ex happy and very excited when I uh, when I have a new brief, interesting idea like oh, idea, oh, idea okay let's use all those oil from different countries. This in my mind it's I understand you know so it's it's um, I like I like that. Sometimes we don't get enough information. We spend a lot of time creating, but you don't really know where you're going because. You know, it's like when you're fishing, you're going to try this because the people give you an idea that after you work for six months, then they're going to change 
the idea and that's a nightmare. You is know, it like helpful if, if... to start from scratch again? Of course. Is it helpful if the person providing the brief gives you a few frames of reference? So they say on packaging, the packaging, uh, yeah, packaging, the name, yeah. uh, if it's for a designer, again, the, you know, the, the, the fabric, the yeah. color, uh, if it's somebody who plays soccer, so it's a little more sportive. Not, you know, if somebody makes sure it's a little bit different, it's um, every time it's a different yeah. approach, you know. Yeah. So that's what makes our job interesting, you know, and yeah. unique. Good. No. People are getting upset that I'm cutting you off, uh, Claude, and I don't oh, mean to do it. Oh, what oh. I'm trying to do is we have a limited amount of time and we're getting bombarded with so many questions, hi, we, and so. We want to get to all of them, so I'm not being disrespectful. No, we know that there's <laughs> more. <and we're> <laughs> I love this. People oh, say, can you, "Can you stop interrupting, Claude? You're cutting him off mid-sentence." I'm just trying oh, yeah. to get to everyone's questions. That's all. Um, so, um, thank you, Ramiro. I appreciate this. So, how do you keep your nose in the best of health? That's a good question. That's interesting. I like how that. How do you? How do we all keep our nose? <laughs> like, is it like constantly that, challenging right? yourself, or? Discovering new raw materials. I'm sure you smelled everything at this point. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tell them about Madagascar. Tell them how you went there for with National Geographic or Reunion. Uh, yeah, yeah. When I, you know, I did. Uh, we did headspace. Sometimes there are plants that we cannot harvest. Mm -hmm. So we went uh, with different company. I went to different jungle in the world. Just did, did some study uh, on orchid. Or wild flowers, flowers that we cannot plant or rest. And um, we are trying to take the DNA of the, the scent of the frag of the, yeah. of the flower. And um, you know, we, uh, you know we, that's what we call head space, or we do some extraction. Uh, we send our sample to Barcelo in, in Atman, and our chemists will, will uh, identify the different molecules. Sometimes we find a new molecule who will help us to create, to have a new molecule on our palette with our my chemicals, something which exists in nature. And I will try to recreate the flower I smell because I will, could be the last flower on the planet. I, 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 I copycat the scent. The beauty is we don't touch, we don't kill the flower. We just take the flower alive, put in a special vessel and we of the molecule, we trap in carbon, send to the lab, and we have the DNA. So this is this is interesting because if we don't do that, and we, there is a good, a, a very nice fla flower on the on, on, on the jungle, uh, if we don't do that, we we never have the, the essential oil anyway. So this this keep adding, you know, locks a cord on our palate. Correct. So that's the way I like to do that. I like to, you know, do research on that. Do you see why I love him so much? It's so overwhelming, but it's the best way possible. Oh my god, I could cry. Can you, <laughs> can you synthesize? Yes, you could. Uh, hi, Marie. I, mean, I see Ben. I see all of this. I see all the questions. That's amazing. Um, you can, any fragrance, you could actually make a synthetic of it and then you get like the pine soap. Remember it's fragrances and flavors. So the same company that does I don't want to say it's not a, like your favorite fragrance will do strawberry pudding and tight soap winter fragrance, right? Um, what do you think there's a question that says uh, two different fragrances to create their own scent. A scent is someone that takes on themselves. So even if they make ten fragrances if it's their own do you get, okay, how's this? I got, I got the question. Okay. So you create a masterpiece. You create, I think, I'm sorry, I'm partial Zahara. Yeah, and someone cool. says, I bet Stephen is wearing a Vendus. No, he's wearing, no. what are you wearing? I'm wearing Zahara. Yes, there you go, he's wearing this. <laughs> um, when you create a masterpiece and someone takes it and mixes it with another fragrance, does that bother you or are Layering. you okay? Yes, are you okay with it? Like they take your creation and they change it? Well, you know, every time a perfumer creates something big, a big fragrance on the market, you can make sure that a lot of other company will ask for it, you know? Right. Maybe it will be a different price point, maybe very, you know, maybe more commercial, but 
No, I think it's uh, for me. It's like well, you know, they're copying. They they did a copy of something that I did, which is doing well on the market. So actually, I'm not. You know, I actually um. Oh, it's good. You it's know, good. Like it's patience is the best form of science. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 they're copying yeah. something I did. So yeah. interesting. It's like when I find you know I smell people. I'm you know, following in the street, I smell one of my fragrance, you know, it's like, it is you know, awesome. she's wearing this, so I'm very happy, you know, oh. it's like my, my dad. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Um, we're in Man. Man is a, a fragrance and flavors house. They make Zaharoff for Om. And we're with Stephen with Red Lessons, and he's streaming live on his YouTube channel, and I'm streaming live on my Facebook. And I'm here with Master master Perfumer. There's not that many Thank Master you, Perfumers clogged <laughs> here. Um, if you Google him, you can see all the fragrances that he has made. Um, Hundreds, right? The fragrance he has the most fun making. We, we, we talked about that, so if you want to go back on this, you could find it. Have his own personal cologne. A lot of these people are more interested in what you like to wear, but please stop with your... Okay, let me see something. Um, That's funny. Isn't it funny? Yeah. I love it. We did Clone House, the Harness Park. Um, what tips do you suggest as a beginning perfumer? So someone who wants to become a perfumer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they come to you and say, Claude, I'm in college, I want to become a perfumer, like what you do, I want to work with fragrance houses. What would you tell that person? Well, we, you know, it's, it's, it's really you want to be a perfumer, or you really have to, if you have passion for, to become a perfumer, you, you have to try to get in a company like mine, do uh, you know spend a few months and we always have intern coming uh, here in Paris or in south of France and um, we we'll see if the person if the person is if we feel that this person can be a perfumer we will send this person uh, to Paris Barcelona to, to do to attend the, uh, the school of perfumery mm -hmm. so it'll be like two or three years training. And after that, um, this young perfumer will work with a, a, a perfumer who has experience one on one, and that's you know, that. You know, so it's not easy. I know, you know, like, you know the last forty-five years, a lot of people, you know, telling me I want to be a perfumer, and you find me or whatever. It's not always easy. Uh, we hire a lot of young uh, people who come from Lizzie. Is it guy in Paris? It's a school of perfume. So it's a school. Well, it's, it's, yeah. it's, so wait, then, while you're saying that, someone said the majority of noses are all men. So it's changing now. It's changing. Yeah. Right? Do you hear that? Whoever just said that. Hi, Amy. Hi, Michelle. Hi, everybody on my Facebook. We're doing two different streams. OK, so hello, everybody. Do you have any questions for Claude Deere? Just let us know. Do you upcycle? Do you upcycle for fragrance? No, when, I, when I started, all the perfumers were men. Today in uh, in school, uh, Lizitka or place even in, uh, right here in New York, uh, uh, FIT or whatever, you have more ladies than mm. men. So there are women noses. And so. us, we have a lot of women's perfumer. I think we may have more women's perfumer than men. So did oh. you have more women's perfumer than men? Yeah. Someone just said, are there future trends? How do you how how do you guys identify future trends and fragrances? That's a good question, actually. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Well, it's you know it's it's um, for example, you know, a few years ago, like if you go back like less than ten years ago, you had green frag green fragrance and floral and oriental and musty, and then and then we started to use. Gourmand piece, like I was saying before, gourmand, that's a cotton candy. And well, gourmand, gourmand, like food. Gourmand means something you put in your gourmand, mouth. Yes, okay. Gourmand. So, and today you're going to see a lot of fragrances utilizing those food like fruits or, you know, uh, sugar, uh, caramel, anything with apple pie, you, you name it. I've there, is, that. there is no limit because if you, if you look at Bath and Body Works and BS, you know, all those fragrances are very fruity, very gourmand. And this was very, you know, very uh, American, the fragrance with those gourmand teas. But today you see all the fragrances even in Europe, they all have this gourmand. People will be maybe a little bit tired about all those food-like, I don't want to put some perfume 
I don't want to smell like strawberry or raspberry, even if you have other floral or the wood, but then we try to do something else. Right now, right now I'm working a lot on uh, of floral, but very woody. Woody not for women's, you know, women's fragrance. That's my, okay. that's, that's my direction. So women, so you're going to be seeing now, you know what? Do you know how many women wear the Zahara fragrance? Yeah, because, you know, it's, uh, it, 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 it's, it, it's very woody, it's, it's spicy, it's not overly, some women don't want to flow up. It's just you know? that's so, so, they, so that's why, you know, there are a lot of women who are, oh, I, 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 I utilize my, uh, what you, you know, my, my immense, my, my immense fragrance for my boyfriend or my husband, so that is sweet and stuff like that. So I think this is what you see now, I think we are going in that direction, you know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so, it's amazing. Yeah, what, it, it says, do you upcycle for fragrance? What does that mean? What do you mean by that upcycle for fragrance? Um, let me see some other stuff here. Uh, everyone, I want to give, hi Michael, I stuck away for a minute, so cool, hopefully the patients. Hi Michael, shout out for both of us, we love you. Oh yeah, that's Michael. Michael. He's still living in New Jersey this time. Yes, yeah. yes, he's a, he's a, no, he's a Never fan, Never met him right? personally, but he is a subscriber of mine. So you guys can go on zaharoff.com reservations. You can get a free uh, sample of the fragrance. If you guys want to smell the Zaharoff, you'll get this little thing here as a gift for me. Um, there you go, a gift for me. We'll send this out to you, uh, zaharoff.com reservations. Mm -hmm. So um, let me ask you another thing here. Uh, what um, signature scent, I think he meant difference. Oh, okay, so what is your passion to create fragrance and why does it, or they have that, let me see something. How do you learn to identify different elements? It's molecular, correct? Well, it's a blend of what we have. We have essential oil, probably three or three, four hundred. Mm -hmm. Then we have a lot of aroma chemical. Uh, those molecules are molecules that exist in nature. They are not, um, they are not synthetic. They, they, we, we created them, but they exist in nature, so they are nature identical. And we have some ambergris, you know, we don't use any animal product, but we discover that the, in the ambergris, you have molecules smell the, we, the, the amber or the musk, yes, this molecule is smell like the musk, and we recreated those, so at least it's good for us perfumer, we have the notes, but we don't touch nature. Sometimes there are plants in nature that, you know, like I uh, remember in India, we had years ago, we had Time ago, we had the best sandalwood, sandalwood from Mysore. Mm -hmm. and the, the sandalwood from where? Mysore. Mysore. Where's that at? India. India. Oh, India. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and so it was the best sandalwood on the market, mm -hmm. and we were perfumer. We utilized this, and one time, at one point, we realized that they carried all the trees, no more sandalwood, and we didn't know we thought that we were only planting. So we started to work and we create sandalwood molecule. So sometimes it's very good because now you don't touch the natural. So I just want to make sure everyone could hear this because this is a really huge thing now. So they were they were finding some sandalwood in India and sometimes some countries or peoples, they will take and destroy trees and just fulfill the market for the, for the moment without really planning for the future. And this is something that is very important now when I travel the world, yeah. going looking for oils, it's all sustainability. Yeah, but we are very big in, we are right. very yes, big in this is. today. Is, yes. Today, it's trust huge. me, every essential oil that we we purchase from different parts of the world, we have to make sure right. that if, if they cut a tree, that they have to replant. You know? uh, there are plants that we, like I remember years ago, you had rosewood on the market, mm -hmm. rosewood perfumer were able to use rosewood and we ban rosewood because we realized that in Brazil they were cutting all the trees. We said no more. So we are today we are it's a big you know especially at man we are really big and looking into that and I have more and more clients who also are asking information on the fragrance, you know. Where do you get those essential oil and we have to prove that Right, you basically. We have to prove that, yeah, we, you know, sandalwood from Australia. Right. Now, they, you know, we buy from Australia, but they replant. 
Right. They cut, and they plant. I actually want video. Okay. I actually want to put an arrow. That's what you have in your in, uh, in your fibers. Right. Some that work from Australia because we know it. It's sustainable, eco friendly, and there's a video on that. I actually went to Kununura and I videoed yeah, that. Yes, so yes, yes. I did that. Okay, so um, let's see, what is, uh, so uh, how much more time, your time do we have, Claude? Because I, I mean, everyone is like, okay. heart attack. they love watching this. Hi, Michael. Hi, Lena. Hi, Marie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you again. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is, I'm with Claude Dare, there. Master Perfumer Claude Dare with Man, M-A-N-E, and uh, he's a master perfumer, which is a lot different than just a regular perfumer, and uh, you're one of a very few that, and those who have been watching, they just love this, you are so incredible, I just wish I could like crawl in your suit pocket and just take me around with you, because everything is about beauty, refinement, um, inspiration, you're taking memories and feelings in the beginning and all, 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 it's just incredible. Mm -hmm. I, it's Perfumers are lucky, you know, yeah. lucky to, to do this Very job, fortunate, you know? very, very you travel fortunate. the world. Um, do you have any questions? You wanna, you have any questions for Claude or anybody? You know, else? I'm sitting here and I'm like a sponge because I'm hearing all of this wonderful information and as somebody who's really passionate about fragrances, I'm really just trying to absorb as much of it as possible. And so, mm -hmm. thank you very much for all well, of Thank you for having me. <laughs> you know, this is what I love also. Hi, Jared. It is on your fragrance. Yeah, I'm yeah. So, yeah. yeah. talking about this. <laughs> so, in the box, what we did was in the box is I have a little, this, which one? There is a little something else, no? That's it? That's it. No, no, no that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right, so it's not part of it, says something or way too special. Mm -hmm. And so it's a little uh, number, and they send to me, we send them a gift. And so uh, Claude is, uh, right. and I think people are saying, what is um, the website? Zaharoff.com slash reservations, and you'll get a, a sample of the fragrance that Claude made for Zaharoff. And so let's see if we have any more uh, questions. Um, hi, Stefan. Hi, George Kalanzas. Hi there. Okay, what does it say here? Thank you so much, Stephen and Claude. This was so cool. The pages are calling. I gotta go. Go <laughs> to the patients. We don't want oh, to wow. get in trouble. Um, before we before we uh, close up, is there anything? Because the people that are watching this love fragrance, and is there anything in a world where we're getting thrown with so much noise? And people are not taking a, a bottle of fragrance. You have we're getting flooded with a lot of different fragrances, right? It's overwhelming. Right. And and it's more. It has become more about like it's fast fashion, fast fragrance. All these different things coming in the market, and that was something that you that you did not like, right? And then that's kind of why you did an early retirement, or you kind of. I gotta make sure I say this correctly, Claude, because you got tired of the fast. Yeah, right? sure, yeah. The right. past because yeah, you know, you create one fragrance and before the fragrance is on the market, they already ask you to do uh, the next one. You mm -hmm. know, they they don't sometimes invest in time and money just to push a fragrance who would be who is very good, but sometimes you you have to Discover it needs time to discover fragrance, you know. Um, when uh, years ago, uh, uh, fragrance was the angel, for example, angel was put on the market, was right. one of the first agronomic patchouli and peach. And people, people didn't, it was too strong, people didn't like it. And they, like for two or three years, they put the fragrance and invested. And after three years, the fragrance started to go up and up and up and up, and it's still big on the market. Today, it's just money, you know. You put some, they put something on the market, boom, you know, numbers are up. Right. And when the numbers are a little bit down, you put it's another one. And for perfumer, it's like you have all the time to 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 find new idea. And uh, this is not my problem anymore because I, I just choose few clients and I take. Time and, and I you know I enjoy more going like that you know I, I did all the the other things the fast 
fast pace and right. a lot of fragrances, two fragrances. making a lot of, you know, printing fragrance, making money for the company, you know. Uh, but today it's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy this. More selective. Someone, you know, else, selective. someone just said, which I love this question, so, does the, so when did you see a shift from, so what, I want to make sure everyone understands this, what Claude is saying in the olden days, which isn't too far long ago, you would develop a fragrance, it would take a couple years to grow, and then it would then take off. And then you would see it become a life of its own. And you're and what we're seeing now is they're I don't I'm saying this, I'm not using your words. They're dumping the this fragrance out of the market and the moment it peaks, they get rid of it and another one comes in. And so that's to keep the number up. To keep the numbers up. And so someone made a good point. Are the ingredients, the oils from the past, um, were they more expensive and more quality than maybe uh, what might be out in the market? Not you, not mom, just in general. Um, if you're constantly coming out with fragrances, you can't possibly be putting the time and effort, because that's expensive, developing a fragrance, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. Well, it depends. You have a lot of fragrances. The big numbers are mass fragrances, you know, so so you know, today you have the, the mass fragrance, so it's based on uh, price, cheap packaging, cheap price, and they sell millions of bottles. Then you had what we call niche, like almost this fragrance, where perfumers, I lo love to work on niche because we get more money, and most, most of the time it's perfumer, real perfumer, uh, idea. They give you less information. If you have carte blanche, we give you a lot of money, create, you know. Up to your own artistic. Up to you, yeah. Yeah, discretion. So it's, um, so that's why, uh, you know, we love to, but today, you know, you see big company, well, buying all the little niche fragrance, you know, yeah. and they're making the niche company big, you know. Again, and then, you know, you have, you have a lot of, let's say, order, you have Montreal, you have many companies course, like yeah. that, but um, it's the price is you know the price is also based on the price point for you you know where you sell this you could not sell maybe this fragrance in a, in a mass market so I don't know, mass no, this is not a mass chain, market, you know? right and it's price like price is like people will take this fragrance and they'll charge $200 for it whereas no, we no, wanted no. this to be affordable we wanted it to be at a price level where it's level luxury and you did this you really first of all can you believe we're here like i know I, i'm like <laughs> I mean this, the people are going, this is our first so this is our first time we're doing this if it's a little fast we don't really need to say uh this is our first time doing this we didn't know where it was going to come from and if you guys could be in this room and the energy, it's just incredible. It? I got goosebumps. I know. <laughs> it's just like, oh. You have to be here. I mean, the fact that you flew out here for this, I mean, I really appreciate it. And it's such an honor just seeing both of you. It thank really you, Claude. Oh, thank you. This yeah. is great. So we're going we're gonna to let you go. to see on your show. My show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I wore my floral yeah. shirt. Sure. Maybe we can do a headspace on that. Yeah, how you going to come to see me? Do you see it's sure? Do you see this? It's beautiful. I love, I love it. Can I do you good? Can yeah, I represent? All right. You look good. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. God bless you guys. Say hi, Fred. People are still coming in. Hi, Brian. Hi, Ben. Hi, Georgie. George. <laughs> Fred, two more minutes. Fragrance is like a fine wine. You have to take your time while, con while consuming to appreciate the flavor. That's very true. That's and and um, we hope that, we really hope that we've addressed all your questions. Let me see. Um, hello, Colombia. This is great, Stephen. You've got a lot of Colombia. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so a lot of people are asking about Jeremy fragrance. So because the same person is asking over and over again, I just want to say Jeremy it, fragrance has his own path. He's working with a different perfumer, sure. um, and so we love and bless everybody. What are you thinking? All right. So we are going to let everyone go, and mosquitoes don't like it. That's funny. Let me one more thing. Mosquitoes. <laughs> 
it, it, is there a thing where mosquitoes are attracted to fragrance or they're not or you don't know I don't think I don't think they are they are attracted by by uh, by fragrance like citronella I think yeah. citronella will repel them I right? repel yeah okay. repel them. actually in the past, I have a lot of mosquitoes, and I'm telling you, I don't want to use any chemical, and nothing seems to work in, mm -hmm. to repel them because they, they are like. But um, citronella is a, is a chemical. Yeah, just, yeah they, you know, I don't want to use any chemical. But uh, you know, last week I had um, bees. I think in my house in, in Arizona, I had a, a nest of bees, probably 15, oh, wow. 20,000. And my wife was wearing a very strong fragrance, so they went after and her. Went after your and, wife. and me, you know, I, in France, I have hives, I have honey over there like with my nephew. And um, sometimes we don't have any protection because yeah. they are very busy to walk. They don't uh, bother you. But Milan says hello, and we're going to say goodbye. Um, before I close, if you guys want to go to zaharov.com slash reservations, we'll send you, I'll send you a sample of the fragrance. On behalf of Stephen, Claude, and myself, we're going to say good night, God bless, and thank you for inviting us into your houses Excellent. and your hearts. Okay? Yes, thank you very much. Good, good, night. Night. good night. And thank you yeah. for watching. Keep warm. Bye, okay. <laughs> Keep Bye perfume. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. Lots of love. What was this frozen? This was frozen, but the screen was perfect. Yeah. It was my. It was my.